All right, introduction to engineering design. We're going to be doing uh, a part of activity 1.3.6. I sectioned that, and I think that this is part three of the different videos that we've done with this section. So I think that, uh, generally speaking, um, multi-views are something that we have a little bit of trouble with. I know we've tried uh, to make some multi-views a couple of times, and adding a section view to the multi-view is something that a lot of people are particularly struggling with. So I'm going to take the time to go through this one step by step, one, type, one step at a time, especially for my digital students, so that we can get a general idea of what this uh, will look like in a section view that is not quite, let's see if I can get back up here, there we go, it's a little bit larger. Um, it's not very traditional because whenever you look at it, we're used to doing things like blocks and things with just like one chamfer in it. It's like, okay, well, that's kind of cool. And then you get this part and it's got lots of different pieces in it. And we need to try to come up with a section view of this object. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see where exactly is my section located. And I can find that from my spot right here that says there's a there's a B right here and then there's a B right here. So this means that our section view is going to cut through the middle of the object right there at that location. So let's go ahead and set up a couple of construction lines. I'm going to try to do this the best I can. I'm kind of doing this cold turkey so if we make some mistakes that's okay. We'll, we'll Bob Ross it. They'll be happy little mistakes. So I'm going to make a construction line that goes down to here, and I'm going to make a construction line that goes from the top of the object, or at least the top, not sticking out part of the object, over to here. This is going to be where the corner of our object is, and I'm going to go ahead and make some dots that go down here as well. This is going to be where the bottom of our object is. Then I ask myself, and I say, well, okay, how, how wide is this object? I can use construction lines to the other side and get them to trace down as well, too. And if you're digital, uh, you may have to just count squares in order to get here. Because I know not everybody has access to a printer, so you might not be able to print this page out. Uh, you can count the squares over from where we are right now, and you can see how we're actually making this drawing. Okay, And that means that the thickness of this object is also going to be along this direction. Now, I need to ask myself, am I going to need to put a, like a dashed line or a solid line? Um, and I believe I can see this all the way through. So I'm going to go ahead and even when it's cut in half, ooh, let's see here. Mm, I don't think that's actually true because if I'm cutting this in half, normally I would be able to see this line all the way through. But if I'm cutting this part in half, there's a hole cut right here. So I tell you what, we're only going to make our solid object line go to about right here. So I'm going to just make a construction line down to there. And I'm going to draw an object line that goes across here. I better make that dark. I'm going to make an object line that's going to go across here like this. This is my first object line. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, I can do the same thing on the other side as well too. So uh, it's, I'm going to go ahead and put my construction lines here so I don't goof up. So I'm going to say that there's a construction line right here. And we're going to make our object line go from here to here. But I'm not going to put a solid line at this part because once again, if I'm trying to look at this as if my eyeball is looking at it from this direction, that's supposed to be an eyeball. So if I'm like eyeballing this from this direction and I've cut away that front side, then there's going to be a big hole right there. Okay. Um, now there's also going to be some other parts as well. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of a circle sticking out of the object, uh, and there's going to be a hole that's been drilled into the object. So let's see where we need to go from here. This, uh, I'm looking over here at the hidden lines in particular. Uh, this pit that gets uh, hollowed out on the inside, that's going to be one square deep. So whenever I make my pit over here, I need to make sure that it is one square deep. And I'm going to make it one square deep on the left side of the object and on the right side of the object. Uh, I also know that there is a part that is sticking out. And I can see that that part is sticking out because it's right here. I can see this part of the object actually sticking out. So I'm going to uh, make my construction lines so I don't goof this up. And is this right on a square? It doesn't actually look like it's right on a square. It looks like it's halfway in between. So at the halfway, 
I'm going to kind of move my construction lines down here, get rid of my eyeball. It's kind of creepy. Uh, and was this one halfway? I think I'm just uh, messing up here. I've got a little parallax because I'm riding on my board. I think it goes halfway down like this. Okay. And the line should be all the way up here to the top. So I'm going to make a line up here. And this object line goes through. And it should connect all the way down to the bottom because this object is actually sticking out. Okay, this part has been cut and it's extending all the way down to the bottom right here. Uh, from here to here, this section is just the depth of the pit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a line there for the depth of our pit that goes down. Uh, and the other side, I can't quite do that all the way because there is a hole that has been drilled through all the way across. And I know this is a through hole because I can see on the hidden line, this tiny thing right here from here to here, this part has been drilled out. And I can see that from the hidden lines. So I'm going to try my best to create some construction lines and not hurt myself in the process. So I'm going to go, oh, Lordy, what is this? Okay, um, maybe it's like a radius of one. It's really small. Uh, okay, so I think it goes from this halfway mark to this halfway mark. So I'm going to make my object line go to the halfway mark, and then it's going to drill down, and it drills down all the way through the object. So, boop, and then I'm going to drill down all the way through the object. Okay, and then I'm going to connect the dots between the two. The bottom is not very... Um, detailed. It, it's just a flat surface down on the bottom. So we're going to connect a line, an object line down on the bottom like this. And we're going to also connect an object line that goes across like this. Okay. There we go. My line is not very straight down there. Hopefully you guys will forgive me. But this section is going to be, um, it's going to have section lines on it. So because this is the part that was actually cut. So we're going to make diagonal lines, and we're just going to make those diagonal lines go straight across like this. I'm going to try not to goof it up too bad. Well, I say that as I goof it up. There we go. There we go. There's some section lines. The only thing that's missing now is we don't really have the, the pit in the background because obviously this pit has a height to it, and obviously this object is connected. If I just look at the section lines right now at itself, it looks like it's two different pieces, and we know that's not necessarily true. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make some object lines that go across that connect the object between them. So I'm going to make an object line that connects it across like this and connects it across like this. And then there's also going to be an object down below that connects it like this. Okay, this is what our multi-view section view would actually look like for section B. Oh, crap, you know what? I missed something completely. Um, it, it looks like there is one more spot that I completely left out. So I'm going to um, go back and say, you know what? I'm looking at my multi-view, and I'm wrong. There's a part of this that is not... I didn't even include this little section over here. So I'm going to go ahead and make my construction lines. And the good thing about this is we can fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and make my construction lines that go down to here. And I'm going to make my construction lines that go down to here. That's why it always pays to double and triple check your stuff. Engineers double and triple check things all the time. There we go. I'm going to erase that. So we're going to have an object line that only goes to here. And then we're going to have another object line that only goes to here. And we need to kind of gauge how far this is actually sticking down. Uh, it looks like the big circle is um, sticking out this way. The little circle is the little guy that's all the way through. So the only thing that's left is this kind of medium-sized circle. And it goes down three-quarters of the way. So it looks like we're going to go down like one and a half deep. So we're going to go down one and a half. And we can't really see where the curve is on the... Uh, the front view. So even though it's got a circle on the front, it's going to look like this. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and fill back in my section views. There we go. Do, 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 do. All right. I told you I was doing this cold turkey. 
So here's the top part of the object. So I don't want to, obviously there is a, a lip over on this side. There's going to be a wall there if I was looking at it from this direction. So we're going to make another object line that goes across this way. This is what our section view of our object is going to look like. Let me double check and make sure before I end the video and look like an idiot. Uh, so I'm looking at the left side. I don't see any holes. The hole on the far left side has been drilled all the way through and that looks and makes sense to me. The hole that's sticking out, uh, the little circular thing that's sticking out in the middle, uh, goes out one square upwards, and that makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, the other side of it ha is still part of the pit, that looks good. And then the next one goes one and a half down, and um, has a line that goes across the top. I think this is it. I think this is what we've got. So digital people, you can use this as a great example. Please make sure that you try to run this through your mind first, because if you just trace this, I can guarantee you that this is not going to help you one bit, okay? And this doesn't just apply to people in my class, this applies to anybody. So don't just like draw the sketch and then be like, oh, okay, I'm done with this and then move on. Try to actually make it yourself first, okay? Try to actually like put, put in your mind where these objects are actually located. The more you practice this, the better off you'll become, I promise, it gets better time after time again. Okay, have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later.